All right, guys, gotta make this quick intro. So, um, this new video is a special video because it's a reaction video. We back at it again. Um, yeah, I'm a little old, too, too overhyped, but I'm excited too. So, um, <laughs> all right, that's a nervous laugh because I'm filming in my garage. Um, don't want nobody coming out and like, you know, making it awkward and stuff. And, um, well, we're gonna. Re I'm going to be reacting to uh, this short film called Clapping for the the Wrong Reasons. Clapping for the Wrong Reasons. It's uh, Childish Gambino. Um, he wrote the movie, uh, the short film. He uh, Hero. He he yeah, some Korean. It's a Korean uh, director. Uh, Hero uh, Morai. Uh, shit, I'm... I'm fucking up already. I'm sorry. Uh, if you're watching, hero, he, fuck. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm just this is messed up. But um, I feel hella bad right now, man. But yeah, this is like I already I already saw the short film, but I want to give my reaction um, on YouTube because uh, I, I have some thoughts on it. You know, I like to place my inner thoughts into this work of art. Work of art, and um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Charles Gambino because he's a man. He's a genius. He really intercepts. You know, he concepts. You know, um, you know, the right things and right words to say. It's really uh insightful. Um, he makes. Really dope music. Uh, he has an awesome TV show, Atlanta. Um, yeah. And, uh, man, his name is trending right now. So, you know, why not? You know, uh, let's get this intro out of the way. And let's get to the short film. Boost. All right, let's go. Let's do this. I'm guessing this is like 6 in the morning. I don't know what time they filmed this. It's a nice shot. Nice shot right here. What? Fine. Alright, bye. I'm going to go back to sleep, I guess. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll play too much. I'll play too much. That is the man right there. That's the homie. I haven't seen his show, Community. Um, but... I've seen Atlanta and other stuff of his dope ass dude, dope ass dude. And Chance the Rapper is in this short film too. Trinidad James, um, even uh, Charles Gambino's brother is in the short film. Is that a Buddha statue? Yeah, of course it is. Cause I remembered. You called me. Yeah. This is the Califax Collection Company. Who am I speaking with? I know who you're looking for. He's not here. Do you know where he can be reached? What month is it? Um, it is June. Who's calling though? Then he's probably in the Northern Hemisphere somewhere. Northern Hemisphere somewhere. Damn, that's deep. No cap. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought of something like that, because, you know, I'll probably say that. But, uh, I can't even think of something about clapping him. Or, maybe I could try up some, I don't know. I actually don't know what that is. Somebody bought it. Who are they? Is that what they But this man thinks straight out of the box. Cereal. Yeah. Yelling, yo, Pellegrino. Never tried Pellegrino <laughs> before. But fancy ass stuff. Fancy ass sparkling water. My boy, you just yacked? You good? A big ass mansion. Oh yeah, by the way, this is Chris Bosch's um house. Real girl house. woke me up. The basketball oh. player, NBA. Good girl. 
I don't have a girl here. Might be Swanks. Anybody coming in there? I don't know. 85 might go through. I love airplanes. Fucking my daddy, he had me on the airplane. So Your dad had you on an airplane. It was like that that weird Bill Cosby episode where with the he, Muppets he, when he gave birth, birth to sandwiches. Like sandwiches and an exactly. orange Yeah, but that was me on the airplane. It was weird. That sounds more like what's the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Oh yeah, with Danny DeVito. Danny, no, that's twins. Twins. I mean classics like regardless. The one where the guy where he's pregnant. Uh baby mama? No, man. Um, it's called um, Kindergarten Cock Doc. with Gary Coleman. Never seen any. Junior. Junior. So I wouldn't know. It's really good. I'm not Junior. a big Schwarzenegger fan. Damn. Buddhism. That's deep shit. At first, I thought this is a this is some kind of vape, like actual e-cigarette, but it's like um, it's something you store weed in. Just saying, you know. Didn't know that. At first, I looked it up. Man, I love how this man has rhythm and melody. So, so you're gonna use that uh, the other song you did? Which one? The one slow '80s sound. I don't know. Let's play it. I like it. I don't have it. Mm. <laughs> Like, no one raps over that. I don't think so. The shuffle it does go hard. Yeah. And he was vibing. So was that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Your brother wants you. Oh yeah, by the way, that girl It's uh Alabama Anderson the porn star. Damn, that's a, that's a big ass dude. Damn bro. It's a, it's a big ass dude. <laughs> bro, that's something I would do. No cap. So that's losing, something man. I would do. Big ass bitch. Big ass. Come on, man. Stay away. Everything else. Huh? Of course I'm doing that. 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 Of course I'm doing Listen, I'm a woman. I'm in locker rooms, in like gyms, whatever. I see naked women all the time. Misla. Forever too. Not just since I hit puberty. Before puberty, I've been searching for naked women. And that's all. And since I'm here now, that's all I do. You got a point. What up? About to say, man, how many vaginas have you accidentally seen? Wait, me? Oh, I was going to say, it's never really an accident. It's not an accident. It's not an accident for me either. What? <laughs> That's even weirder. <laughs> you guys are crazy. That makes no sense. You guys sent your girl down there to get me for this? <laughs> I didn't send your girl, girl. You got a girl here today? See? Uh -uh. Sweet. No, I didn't, I didn't bring any girl. I'm, I'm looking for new girls. You got a girl downstairs? Like some kind of stranger. Of course she's not my girl. Why would I bring girls here? Yeah, Misa never brings girls for anybody. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Uh, right. Yo, that girl's cute. Tell her to come upstairs, though. Go upstairs. That made me chillax and smoke some weed. Dude, this shot. 
dog right here is such a vibe. Don't care about it. It, just, it feels so soothing with the background music. It's just like positive vibes all around. Okay. I don't know about the second one though. It wasn't scary enough. Scary enough. What do you mean scary? It just wasn't scary enough? Mm-mm. You're not scary. <laughs> I'm pretty scary. Well, I can be scary when scared. I want to. Try. Totally scary. Oh shit. Holy miss. Oh. Okay. Peace. Watch this. <laughs> you think I ain't, motherfucker? My phone's in my pocket. Oh, shit. His phone was in his pocket, bro. If I did that, I, and it had, if I had a lot of bank, I'd probably buy a new iPhone. Maybe the I, iPhone. I don't know what year this was, 2013. I'd buy a new iPhone 7, 6. I don't know. Shit, so I got the money, man. I'm on nigga. Can't talk right now. I'm calling nigga. I'm not going to be with it. Don't have so profound. Hey, cares what they be on. I'm in some baby. Claiming the future. All right, okay. No one, folks, in front of the crowd. Yeah, they're my next time. That is in the time to hop around. Nigga, you can't say. Oh, shit. That was tight. That was tight. Was just, that was tight. Oh, wow. It was too turned up. Yeah, that was tight. No cap. But sorry, guys. I had um, what is it? Um, I had to cut the video and film another or just retake. Whatever. I just need to cut cut the video and stuff. Had been rudely interrupted. Playing of. Uh, Connect four, dude. I fucking hate this kind of game. Decision is pivotal. Cause I lose, right? All time. It's a real thinking strategy game. It's a man uh, kind of game, I guess. This, I don't, know. I don't even know how to play Connect Four anymore. Rhymes, bars. I guess he made a big mistake there. God damn it, did I just tweet? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Chance the rapper though. What? Go! Push up competition? Alright. I guess Chance is faster. You're old, Donald! Donald <laughs> Glover. I can do this all day. Man, that's a big great. ass backyard. Yeah. Great. That's oh, huge. Man, so if I had a backyard like that, <laughs> yo. Oh, I'll probably be I mean, like sitting in the, the grass. You better have all the push ups. Chilling, listening to music. Go man, all the way down. Somebody make sure you go all the way down. <laughs> Damn. 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 <laughs> Bruh. Just yelling your voice in the ear. That's it. You wait. Yeah, watch. I'm a gentleman. True. You gotta be a gentleman. You gotta be nice. I've had the most like strangely recurring dreams over the last week, mm -hmm. and uh, it's like of my wedding, 
Yeah. But nothing is going right. Everything's a disaster. A my guests are all there. It's all my real life friends. Yeah. They all look gorgeous. They're all like fully done up in their gowns that they're probably going to wear to the wedding. My family's there. But suddenly I realize I should have already been married by now. And I'm not married. I'm not in my wedding dress. I'm all alone in this giant area yeah. where I see my guests being served their cocktail appetizers on paper plates. Yeah. Everyone seems to be having a great time, but they're all dressed up, eating off of paper plates. And I am wearing cargo pants, army cargo pants. Like Old Navy? Yeah, exactly, like Old Navy cargo pants. I don't own Old Navy cargo pants. I'm not even sure where that came from in my head, but I'm wearing that with a t-shirt, and I'm supposed to be getting married. My hair's not done, my makeup's not done, everybody else is ready. Yeah. My mom comes in and asks me, Wah! Why aren't you getting ready for your wedding? I'm like, oh, I will be, I will be. But suddenly I'm smoking a cigarette. I don't even know why I'm smoking a cigarette, but in my mind, I also know that I'm three or four weeks pregnant. Whoa. Horrible, right? So I tell my mom, mom, you don't know this, but I'm three or four weeks pregnant. She says, not put out the cigarette. She says, well, maybe you should go get in your wedding dress. Yeah. It's all very, very weird. I'm not really sure what it means at all. I think we have too many lemons. One more? You know what they say, yeah. life gives too many lemons. And these two. Yeah. But she's, 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 she's sister. She's so filming that place. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know, wishful thinking, I guess. Sorry. My arms are getting cold. Um, being in lanes. Best in time and writing lies, likely truth without a clue. I met my higher self, pissing off the roof of drunk and goofy said, Keep the mic smelly like a rotten tooth, and all your fears forgotten when the cap is in the booth. I'm an angel in an agony of flame, feathers growing at the mention of my name, reinvention of my shame. I'm a slave to the darkness of my innermost cave, and all these words I hold tighter than a glow stick at a rave, nigga. Dang. Dance around the campfire, butt naked, blowing trees. Could give a single fuck if somebody sees I'm free. Red V bleed out a scarlet letter killer king and I'll be sitting ready for whatever weather the season sing. Picking up expensive habits, chasing after little rabbits, hope they lead me to a place of magic. Sad at all the times I never thought I had it, losing all these memories. Y'all and now it matters. Patterns. Damn! That was hella deep. That was so fucking deep. Uh... Mouth, mouth to a Pellegrino, bottle color of envy. Who the fuck is Gambino? I hand a waitress a Benji to act like she never met me. I'm saying though, they want the game changed when you shit on the radio. Fruit was so hanging low, I didn't even bother. She trying to land Obamas, man. She get it from her mama. I don't blame her. I tame her, give her something to visualize. On my couch watching DVR, American Dad. Man, them new Celine bags are so to die for her. Man, that Porsche on Prozac, them suicide doors. Watch her walk as the death becomes her. Cause Mrs. Tarantino killed Bills, no wonder. My heaven is the present, so maybe this is it. Pray to God every night to make me believe he exists. Drink a fifth of vodka, I don't need no sponsor. Hear the preacher holler, make them holy souls. And then that's when I'm like the hook. Yeah, yeah. That's just like, I like that. Um, uh, What's up? You know, you, you got a little. Oh, shit. Shit. Damn, that's blood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to add. I'm watching. This is my second time watching, but for us. I remember. Because <laughs> I watched this recently. Wow. Not gonna lie, I was super. I was kind of grossed out in the scene. You'll find out why. I hate nosebleeds. Like, I mean, it looks cool. Like, I feel like you got beat up, but it just sucks to be in that position of having a nosebleed. <coughs> Damn. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sound two. Realistic <sighs> and gross. That's what the other dude said when he was uh, freestyling or acapelling. You know, that's what he said. I think I'm, but I can't really remember what he said. Because, uh, I'm just like enthralled. Like, got the bonfire on on in the pad. Man, this house is dope as fuck. Being scared as hell, like getting prank calls, like crazy stuff. Just like I'm seeing you at high school, yeah. had a lot of girls. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Can't so this one girl was super crazy. She would call my phone mm -hmm. from a block number. I knew it was her. Yeah. But then I started getting like the crazy, like death threats. Mm -hmm. Started as a joke. Then they knew exactly what kind of car I was driving. They knew exactly where I like to hang out. Bro, that's wild. Then they started, you know, shooting in the area. So I couldn't sleep at home anymore. I went, got a gun for my friend. Shit. Now I was sleeping on the street for a week. The scariest thing about it all though is like, knowing that you have a gun, mm -hmm. is that you might have to use it. Yeah. Scarier than, the, than killing somebody is the thought of killing somebody. Just not knowing. Like those seven days, we couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it. Just, you just get to that point, like you just, like how did I get here? Sometimes you just can't explain why things happen. They just, they just do. Right. And I was like five or like six. We were like living, like I remember living in, in Decatur in like the. Project, in the dark. I'm it's common drive. Like it's real nice now, but like yeah. we were like I remember my mom's friend, like it was like a friend of the family had like this kid, like something happened. I don't even I didn't really understand it, but he had to like stay with us for like a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And we were like he, he we didn't have any space. We had like no room, so we had to sleep in my room, so we sleep in my bed. Mm -hmm. And he was like I remember in the morning when we woke up, like, he was like, let's rub butts. And, mm -hmm. and I was like, no I was like, I don't, I, I just, I was like, I just did it. I was like, oh, okay, like, I don't know what that means. Like, I don't really get it. And then, and then he like, and then when we turned and when I turned, like, he kissed me. Oh. Kiss you? Yeah. I didn't know that. Hmm. I wonder if this is a true story. And then it was like, like, they could be acting like you said like, i don't know why that happened i don't know why it happened i don't know anybody ever like know about this no nope. just him just him that's why it's weird. weird it's crazy like i said sometimes you just can't explain things facts right there brother Right there. I'm gonna go inside. Like, yeah, I'm gonna stay out here. Could be, but most some of the times you can't. This short film is philosophical, bro. I love it. I love it. Alright, he's walking back to his bedroom. You could see the nibs. Who are you? It's cold in the house. Yeah. She doesn't say a thing. She just mind her own business, walk in, ignore, ignores Charlie's Gambino. So, uh, I'm not gonna say sassy. No. Because that, that 
to mess it up. What? And who's calling the man at like 10 p.m. at night? That, yeah, you gotta get it. The motherfucker messed up. Fuck out of here. I don't know. Uh, unplug the phone, I guess. I don't know who has um, hotlines or telephone lines anymore. I don't think they exist. But my house doesn't. Dude, that's, that's how I sleep. I sleep without a shirt on uh, because it's hot as fuck nowadays. Because it's fall. But it's still hot as fuck. I'm not even capping. Dude, there's an, there's an extra scene. That's why I'm waiting for, for after credits. There's an another scene. You see why. I have to wait. Because I didn't know this. I, after four years. Maybe six, seven. I don't know. Chris Bosch, see you see his name on top. That passed by. Next morning. The fuck? Gotta get the fuck out of here with that. Clapping for the wrong reasons. Um, but yeah, I'm playing. Hold on. Let me uh, do the outro video because, yeah, let me just do the outro. Oh shit. Hold on. Adjust the camera so it wouldn't fall. Alright, we good. Alright, I thought the short film was has a lot of charisma to it it was a lot of um impactful uh, i like to say i discovered this short film when i was like uh in eighth grade or in high school my first year of high school freshman year and i just thought like it was confusing at first so like you know i um i didn't really understand it i didn't have a deep thought in into like the short film and not like now because you know I was really, um, not, I was less philosophical, you know what I'm saying? I had less thinking knowledge, whatever you want to say, I don't know what you want to call it, but, yeah, uh, I love this short film to death, it's, a, it's awesome, it's amazing, great cinematography, great at natural acting, it seemed real, um, I'm gonna close off this video because it's already long as fuck. Uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on my Twitter, follow me on my Snapchat, and the link in the description below. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in another time. And, uh, hope you guys enjoy this, uh, reaction video. Like, comment, subscribe for more content. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Peace!